This is two of the best ways to stop spam messages being sent through Contact Form 7. It's really easy to set up. No extra plugins are required, and I'll show you how it all works in this video. My name is Bjorn from WP Learning Lab, and let's get started. Form 7 form is a plain vanilla form. It has no spam protection, and it will get spam, and so will your forms, because automated bots will find them and send you spam messages. There's a couple different ways to address this. I've made videos for all of them, plus one video highlighting each one, so you can pick the one that's right for you and then watch the more extensive video on how to implement it. I'll link to all of those in the description down below if they're published already at the time you're watching this. If not, they're coming soon, so keep checking back. So what we wanna do for this video is use the built-in WordPress disallow list. We're not gonna add a plugin to our site, just gonna be straight up manually entering information. I'm going to show you how that works. So let's go to the dashboard first and let's add IP detection capability to the contact form 7 form. Let's go to a contact form. Let's use this one. Just a regular contact form 7 form. We don't have to make any changes to our form. All we have to do is go to the mail tab and add a bit of code or a short code into here. I'm going to type in sender IP. This will be text that's visible in the email and then paste in this short code. I'll put this in the description down below as well. This is directly from the Contact Form 7 developer's website too, so it's a legit piece of code and it's built right into Contact Form 7. That's why no extra plugins are required. I'm going to click on Save to save that. Now we're going to fill in that form and see what information it sends us. Submit that form. Here is the message with the sender IP address. Now, how do we relate this to blocking spam? Well, there's something called a disallow list inside of WordPress that's built for comments, and it picks up on words that you want to block. So if we go into our dashboard and go to settings and discussion, here we have disallow comment keys. So anything we enter in here, if there is a comment that pops up with this content, it's gonna block it. But Contact Form 7 also taps into this. So if we get the IP address from this email and we paste it in there, one entry per line. So it can be one IP per line. We can also add words like Viagra, for example, commonly spammed words. Every entry in here is gonna be a flagged word. If that word appears in the message that someone's trying to send to you through your contact form, it will not be allowed to go through. And so rather than a blanket approach where you just block everything that could be spam by using a calculator, for example, where people have to enter the answer to a math problem, which people might get wrong, uh, just saying, uh, this is more of a soft touch approach where you receive the spam email and then you can decide whether it's spam and block the topics individually. It's a little more work, but it's also a softer approach. Just something different that you might wanna try out to see what works. So if I save this, let's try it out. Let's go back out to our contact form. Let's fill this out again. And let's say Viagra in the message field. And here it says there's an error trying to send your message. Please try again later because it detected that. Or if we put in the IP address, mm, no, that won't work. It also detected our IP, come to think of it, no matter what we put in here right now, because our IP is in that field, it won't allow it. So let's take our IP out and just test Viagra. Save changes. Refresh this form so the new settings are applied. Viagra, submit, there is an error. Send this, submit, no bad words detected, message has been sent. So that's a great way that we can block spam attempts on your websites. As I mentioned, there's also others. I'll link to those in the description down below. And while you're here, I thought you might want to know about the completely free Ultimate 17 Point WordPress Launch Checklist. It is a checklist, a detailed checklist of all the things that you need to do or should do before you launch a WordPress site written by me, someone who's launched thousands of websites over the years. 
This is a checklist I created almost 10 years ago, and it's been downloaded at least 100,000 times. I haven't checked the stats lately, but it was over 100,000 a few months ago. It is a checklist of what you go through before you launch a website. And there's two versions of it. There's this version here. It includes videos and includes links to other resources. So it really takes you through the steps you need to take to launch your website in a nice format like you see here. And we also have a print friendly version over here. So you can print it off and this is a smart PDF. That means it will adjust to the size of your screen. For example, if you're on iPhone 12 Pro, see how it all adjusts to fit the smaller screen? It messes up the WordPress and the title up here, but everything else, it goes down to the smaller screen. What if you have a Galaxy Fold? It'll look like this or at least pretty close to what this is. Unlike other PDFs that don't shrink, that are a real pain to look at when they're shrunk down. And the, the uh, print friendly version works the same way if you want just black and white. And they're also downloadable. Click on the little download button and you download the PDF to your computer. The benefit of the smart PDF as well is when I update it, you will get the updates instantly. So you can get this just by opting in with your name and email address on the page that I've linked to in the description down below. You get this totally for free. And when you download it, you'll have the current version of it. But then if I update it in the future, this smart PDF at this URL will be updated with the new content that you can come back and download it again. So I recommend when you opt in that you bookmark this page so you can save it for future reference. And every few months, I don't update it every week, but every few months or so, Come in here, check if there's some changes, download the new version, and you're good to go. So if you want to join over 100,000 fellow WordPress users and get this PDF checklist for yourself, do so now. There's a link down in the description. All you have to do is enter your name and email, and I will send you emails. Most of those emails are just about videos I've published on my various channels. Sometimes I send you offers for stuff you might be interested in mostly uh, WordPress courses and stuff that I offer myself. And it's no big deal. You can unsubscribe at any time and then keep this checklist forever anyway. Page, on there you enter your name and email and I will send you the PDF in your email. And it also takes you to a thank you page after you opt in where you can download it and access it directly from that page. Just in case you want more ways to block spam messages being sent through contact form seven forms, there's another method in this video right over here. So click on that, check out that video. I'll wait. Go ahead, right up there.